this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Let's go through Palum's Challenge Dungeon, possibly the hardest one in the game. No, not that Challenge Dungeon. We'll go there soon enough, viewers. But uh, let's go through the real Challenge Dungeon first here. Now, one thing I've done off-screen, or, well, a few things, is I've purchased up to 50 potions, 50 high potions, and 50 tents here, so I think that'll be good preparations. I've also made it a new moon, resting up at the end, before coming in here. So that way my physical attacks and black magic will be unaffected by the moon there. I can't believe I just said that with a straight face. But anyway, Talon's Dungeon, Talon's Dungeon is a little different than the other ones. I'll go over that when we get to that, but first things first, uh, I was thinking about running here, but maybe I can hold them off. Um, well, hold on. Let's uh, let's wait a moment. Let them get in another round on us. Okay, now we can heal up. And let's see. These guys are susceptible to break. So if I equip the polymorph rod, give myself a few extra magic multipliers. Come on! Ah, oh, man. Almost got all three of them. Okay, well, anyway, they are susceptible to holy. So I want to use the holy arrows on them. That's one reason why I made it a new moon instead of a full moon to reduce their physical attacks. So, for the most part, it shouldn't be that hard, even under a new moon, instead of a full moon. But, well, we'll see what happens. If you, I mean, pretty much, if you get ambushed by three sculptures, you're dead anyway, no matter what you do. You will not get a turn, and you're just screwed. This challenge dungeon is hard. So, but anyway, we got a new enemy here, Mindasaur. I think it's unique to the PSP version of the game. But anyway, I want to try and use Piggy on them. Hopefully it has the same resistances as a Mind Flare. No? No, apparently not. Maybe Sleep will work on it. Or he could just be immune to every status I use on him. Maybe Toad? Yeah, he can cast Death on you. Nuts. Run! Okay, yeah. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Maybe if I had Bio already, that would work. Probably should have grinded up to, like, level 30 before going through here, but I have patience problems, so... Oh, well. But anyway, we got Iron back here. Let's use our... You suck, Leonora. You can't even one-shot them. They only have, like, 100 HP or something really low, but they've got really good attack power. So, if I just... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, so use your bows and arrows on them. Yeah, I prefer going through here with a new moon. This is just one of the hardest ones in the game, the challenge dungeons, because you have two mages, so if you just use all your magic, you'll run out. But if so, but if you make it a full moon, then or a new moon, then you're more susceptible to physical attack, so it's kind of hard to figure out, you know, what's the best way to go here. Um, I might want to run. Yeah, that Black Knight's just way too fast. Yeah, or, no, 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 get out, get out of there. Nuts, run! Please don't die, please don't die. Use a high potion just in case. I can't wait for the instant, or the charge time of the cure spell. You see, this dungeon's hard. Holy cow, they're kicking my ass. And those aren't even the hard enemies. Oh, not again. Yeah, run. If you get ambushed early on, you have no problem running. No guilt at all. Just, you know, once you get up to, like, level 30 and you get bio, then you're probably in better shape. But here we get the killer bow. Give that to Leonora there. That should give her another multiplier. Two more strength. Yes! There we go. So that'll help her out a little bit. This is one of two floors where you can get a piece of equipment other than the final chest in the dungeon. Now, the way this dungeon works is a little different than the other ones, like I was saying. There, you'll get three floors that you'll go through, other than the intro room, and then the boss room at the end there. Let's use holy arrows for this one. And up in those three floors, it'll randomly select one from, I think there's 11 total random floors you can get. It'll take three of those 11, and those are the three that you're going to get through the dungeon. So you have to go through it over and over and over again to get all 11 of them, if you want to. Only two of those 11 have, like, equipment that I really care about, though. We already saw one of them at the strength floor. So, 
what I'm gonna do, let's get silent on these guys. What I'm gonna do with the with the recording here is I'm gonna show you my first run through the dungeon, where I just go through, do three floors, fight the boss, and get it over and done. Yeah, Piggy won't work. Yeah, we gotta use silence. So once I'm done with that in the first episode, then the second episode, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the remaining eight floors, which most of them are reasonably short enough. It's only gonna be like really lengthy the first time because I'm sure I'm fighting all the enemies and stuff. I'm not gonna edit out any battles and such. So, but later on I will. So we've got the eight floors, and then I also want to show an alternate strategy for fighting the boss. And then I'll have a bonus dungeon for showing Palum's real challenge dungeon. I might distribute the remaining two episodes a little differently. I, mean, I might put the boss in the third episode. I don't know. Um, I'll see how the editing goes. I haven't recorded everything yet. So, well, we'll get to that when we get there. But anyway, we got a Will Priest there. Uh, first things first, let's take out the one guy there. And then we want to... I want to silence the Will Priest so he can't counterattack everything that I'm doing. There. So let's do that. I'm not really worried about the Mind Player because all he has is that, uh, not Blaster, but a uh, Mind. Uh, uh, some attack. I don't know. I forget what it's called. He uses it in like every Final Fantasy game and I just can't remember the name of it. I don't think he's weak to any element, but. Well, easy enough there. So, alright, getting closer to that bio. Okay, there we go. Just need to do a little quick healing there. And we got a summon draft, which I want to give to uh, Leonora there, because yeah, she could use the extra MP. She's pretty low. All right, woohoo! The mountain floor. This floor, you absolutely want to try to get on your first run through the dungeon there. There's a piece of equipment here that is really good. It might be my favorite piece of equipment in the game before running into... Uh, the final tale, that is. But yeah, it's one of my favorites. And this floor is kind of hard to spawn sometimes, in my experience. So yeah, absolutely try to go for this one first, if you can. Let's see, where's the chest? I think it's over to the left. Yeah, I can't see it from here. Oh, well, we'll get there soon enough. See, there's nothing to the left there, so let's head to the right. Well, the enemies are taking it easy on me for a change. Of course, I could be wrong. This floor is not too hard either, so... The enemies will vary depending on which floor you're on. It's not like a single enemy domain throughout the entire dungeon. No, no, it doesn't work that way. There we go. Well, let's see. Ah, there we go. And here we get... My favorite, one of my favorite pieces of equipment, the Mystic Veil. Look at her stats, 11 speed, 19 intellect, 40 spirit. You equip that on her, the Sage's Miter already gives her five spirit. But yeah, look at that stat boost. She gets seven more, seven intellect, seven spirit, and plus one speed. And that plus one speed is critical. I'll explain why when we get to that point. Probably not until the next episode or two, but it is really important for Leonora because her base speed is so terrible. Well, in the game, really. But, did I make it? Yes, okay, we made it to the last floor now. Go through three random floors, you end up here. So what I want to do is I want to use a tent, make it into a waxing moon. I think it's a waxing moon, or is it a waning moon? Well, I want to reduce the battle speed all the way down. Get it all the way down there, and then I'll rest up in the tent, and I'll be right back. I'll do it like five times off screen okay we're back it is a waxing moon uh, I wanted to rest up five times to make it a waxing moon but then get all my M HP and MP back up we want to equip the polymorph rod on power thing. and then I think we're all set and ready to go okay. how's it going are you one of the hardest bosses in the game for boss time! The Blade Dragon himself. I heard his name is supposed to be Brain Dragon, but it was mistranslated. Which would kind of make sense, considering this is a mage's tale. But anyway, first things first, keep your HP up, use slow on him. You absolutely need it to be a uh, waxing moon to reduce black magic damage. 
Now, whenever you use a non-elemental spell on him, he'll counterattack with Leech, which will restore one-third of his current HP. And he'll use that uh, attack on you, whatever that was. So, uh, now what I want to do is... Use Cura on everyone, and I'm... I need to find his elemental weakness, because you can't use non-elemental spells where he'll just counterattack like that. So let's use Fira on him and hope that this works. Alright, there we go. Now, here's how you now that was a little reckless of me. That's not how you're supposed to do this. But uh well, I'll show you how you're supposed to find his elemental weakness. Um, once you use an elemental spell on him, he'll bear your shift. He'll leave out. He'll leave the battle, and then he'll come back. Now, the way you're supposed to figure this out, let's get back to Leonora's turn there. Okay, wait for him to cast a spell on you. Okay, his weakness is never the element of the spells that he casts. He'll cast two different elements. So he used Blizzard, so let's use Fire on him. Okay, he's weak to Fire. If you actually deal da damage to him with one of Leonora's spells, that's what he's weak to. If he's immune to it, that's not what he's weak to. If he absorbs it, that's not what he's weak to. So basically, use an elemental spell other than what he uses, and that'll determine what he's actually weak to. And then use the spell that he's weak to to actually damage him. So use Blizzard. Let's use Fire on him this time. And even though it's a waxy moon, it's going to take a while, but still. Okay, he's weak to Fire. Now, if you cast a spell that he's immune to, he will counterattack, and you might die. So, sometimes that'll happen. There's not much you can do about it. Use high potions to conserve Leonora's MP, because this is going to take a long time to kill this guy at low levels. You might want to just, like, level grind up to level 37 before fighting him. But, well, I don't think we need to do that. Okay, use thunder! So let's use fire on him. Okay, he's still weak to fire. Well, I've been getting pretty lucky. Usually, it, uh, he'll counterattack more than that. But yeah, I love this boss fight. How they basically require some amount of strategy. It's not just, you know, elemental weakness. Okay, just spam that over and over and over again. You gotta figure out what he's weak to. It kind of reminds me of Golbez's boss fight in the DS version of the game. But any, you, know, you can't use Libra on him. That was more. Okay, so you use Blizzard, so try Fire. Okay, he's immune to that, so that means he's actually weak to Thunder, not Fire. Hope. Oh, uh, nuts. Okay, well, I wanted to use Thunder on him. Uh, yeah, what, what I want to do is I want to use Thunder on him to force him to shift his element, and then we'll try to revive Leonora there. You see, sometimes it doesn't work out, because if you hit the one he's immune to, and he kills one of your party members, then it doesn't work out. So, yeah, this is a tough boss fight, not to mention all the enemies that you can meet up with on the way here, but, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I think we should be good, as long as he doesn't counterattack. Nuts. Please hit everyone. Nuts. Not again. Yeah, if you're playing this yourself, viewers, um, grind up to like level 37. <laughs> There's a very specific reason why I've chosen that level, and well, you'll find out when I fight him the next time. But anyway. Hmm. Let's see, do I cure everyone or. Yeah, yeah, we gotta cure everyone. Ow. Okay, so he's not using, or he is using Thunder. One other thing you could do is just wait for him to cast two separate elements, and then you'll know. Okay, he's weak to fire, because he cast Thunder and Blizzard there, so I already know that now. That's another way you could do this. Um, I don't like waiting that long. <laughs> so, it is a little risky the way I'm doing it, but I don't like doing it that way. So, fortunately, White Magic, I think, is boosted during the uh, Wax Unit, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I can't tell from here, but... Anyway, just wait for Leonora's turn, then. There we go. Wait for it. There we go. 
And hopefully, oh yeah, he he could uh, kill her. So let's use a fire or high potion. And hopefully, Palom can get in something quick enough. Okay, go, 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 go! Ah, ah, man, barrier shifted too quickly. Maybe slow is worn off, even though he's still um, glowing there. If you call that a glow, I don't know what that is. Nuts. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go with the high potion, I think. Maybe he'll cast the other element instead of fire. Wait, er, well, yeah. yeah. Okay, he's weak to thunder! Yeah, you pretty much have to have Palom's turn queued up, ready to go, in order to get your spell in quickly enough. And you pretty much need slow, otherwise you'll just bury your ship too quickly. The mages are just too slow. That's another thing that makes this tail really hard, or this challenge dungeon really hard compared to the other ones. Because you're just so slow. You, melee fighters, for the most part, are a lot faster. Okay, let's try fire on him. Or wait a minute, fire? No, no, the ordinary fire. All right, there we go. He's got, I think, over 12,000 HP, so this fight takes a while. It's not a fast one. Hmm, I wonder if Kane's Challenge Dungeon, if the boss is harder. I don't think so. I think this one's harder than the boss of Kane's Challenge Dungeon. Maybe the dungeon itself is harder, but you know, I suppose it depends. I still think this one's harder because you're at a much bigger disadvantage, even though the enemies are harder in his. Hmm. Well, anyway. Nuts. I almost had him. One other thing you could do is you could use... Yeah, I want to do that to get him to bury the ship. You could use the, um... What is it? The particle bomb on him, but we're just not high leveled enough to do some good damage. And that's considered non-elemental. Okay, okay, we're still good. We're still good. Let's just heal up here. Let him use whatever spell he's going to. Heal everyone up. Okay, okay, I think we're in good shape now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know he's weak to fire, so now I can wait it out. That was what I made my mistake earlier. I thought if I just, uh, because I used fire to draw out his elemental weakness, he barrier shifted right after that. Once you hit his weakness, he'll do that. So, and I cast Fira too, too soon after that. So, eh, maybe I should have uh, done a quick test on this guy before making the video for him, but well, you get the idea of how to kill him. So, we use Thunder, so we use Blizzard, or that weak to Blizzard, so we do that. Hopefully, this will kill him. Yes! Okay, got him. Whew! That was a long one. But, alright. What is this? Seiken Densetsu 3? No, no, but, alright, for. Defeating him, we get a Sama Drop. So I'm going to list all the treasures that you can get from the Challenge Dungeon in the video description. And then, let's see. Yeah, then we'll just go on through here again. But what other floors await us in Palom's Challenge Dungeon? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.